Welcome Grade 12 to our second lesson on advanced measuring. This lesson will focus on calculating the area of a floor pan and the volume of concrete needed to lay the foundation. Here is a plan for a house in a complex. It has two bedrooms, a lounge, bathroom and kitchen. We can see that all of the length and breadth measurements are given both for the whole house and each room. The contractors have said there are two types of flooring needed for the floors in this house. The first is a basic tile which will go in the kitchen, the bathroom and the passageway. The second is a laminate wooden flooring that will go into the lounge and two bedrooms. We need to calculate the surface area that both floors will cover. Let's start with the tiles. Let's calculate the surface area of the bathroom, kitchen and the passageway. The measurements on the floor plan are given in millimetres but we want our answer to be in metres squared. This means we need to divide all our measurements by 1000 before we multiply them together. The length of the kitchen is 3550 millimetres and the breadth is 2050 millimetres. This becomes 3,55 times 2,05 which is equal to 7,277 metres squared. The area of the bathroom and passageway is calculated by multiplying the length by the breadth. So you would multiply 3,55 meters by 1,7 meters. Your answer is 6,035 meters squared. Now we need to add the two areas together. The area to be tiled is 7,277 meters squared plus 6,035 meters squared. This equals 13,312 meters squared. We round this up to 14 meters squared. Did you notice that we only round off in the last step? We do this so that we can have the most accurate measurement. Now let's calculate the area that the wooden laminate flooring will cover. There will be wood laminate flooring placed in the lounge and both bedrooms. Do you notice that bedroom 1 is the same size as the lounge? This will make our calculations more easy. Why don't you do this before looking at the answers? Let's start with the area of the lounge. The lounge is equal to 3,55 times 3,55 meters. This is equal to 12,6025 meters squared. We don't need to calculate the area of the first bedroom because we know that this is the same size as the lounge. Now let's calculate the size of bedroom 2. The area of bedroom 2 is 3,75 meters times by 3,55 meters. This is equal to 13,312 meters squared. Now we need to add the area of all three rooms together. 12,6025 plus 12,6025 plus 13,312 meters squared, giving us 38,517 meters squared. We round this up to 39 meters squared. Now that we have the individual areas, it's easy to calculate the whole area of the floor plan. We should just add all the individual areas together. We add the areas and get 51,829 meters squared. This rounded to two decimal places is 51,83 meters squared. But before any flooring can be laid, a very even level of concrete foundation needs to be thrown. In order to know how much concrete is needed, we need to calculate the volume of the foundation. We know that the length and the breadth of the house and the contractor says the depth of the concrete layer will be 65 centimeters. If the concrete costs 234 rand and 57 cents per cubic meter, how much will the foundation cost? To calculate the cost, we first need to calculate the volume. Before we do that, we need all the units to be the same. Therefore, we need to change the 65 centimeters into meters. And you can do that by dividing it by 100. So the depth will be 0 0,65 meters. Now we can find the volume of concrete needed by multiplying 7,3 by 7,1 by 0 0,65 meters, giving us the answer of 33,689 meters cubed. Rounded up, this is 34 meters cubed. We now need to calculate the cost of the concrete. If 1 meters cubed of concrete costs 234,57 rand, then 34 meters cubed will cost 7,975 rand and 38 cents. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. You have worked hard. 
Don't forget to do the questions found in the Advanced Measuring Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about advanced measuring on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.